Hey juniors, this is Cole. Um, I just finished my novel project, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. Uh, my topic was about the creation of social others. So I looked at like how society pushes individuals into the margins and then how, what are the psychological impacts of those characters? And uh, one of the biggest challenges I think was just kind of coming up with a topic, right? And that's kind of in the same line of one of my, the coolest things and my advice about this is that pick texts you really enjoy um, and about about ideas and topics you find interesting. Um, and then the, the topic will kind of come together. So in my case, I picked cool books around centering around racism and uh, social justice, and then ultimately came together into like a sub argument that I found more interesting later on. So yeah, thanks you guys, good luck. Hi everybody, my name is Reagan and my novel project topic was systematic oppression through social class. I think the biggest challenge of the novel project for me was sticking to my topic. I had so many other ideas that I wanted to branch out into, but being able to set your guidelines and stick to it was really, really impactful um, in making sure my ideas were all fully realized in the paper. Um, one cool thing about the novel project is you get to put together all of your knowledge from English and do something that really, really makes you happy. I really love film analysis, and so that really, I think, shone through in my project. So pick something that makes you happy. Um, and one piece of advice is plan for the quote outlines. If you do your quote outlines in September and January, you're essentially writing your paper for you. It is very nice spring term. Um, and most importantly, have fun. This is a, a chance for you to really show your skills and just have a good time. Um, yeah, thanks so much. Hey juniors, it's Elise from the class of 2020. I just wanted to send you a quick note to tell you about my novel project experience. I think the best part of the novel project is getting to design a project that has any books you want and you get to tap into all the expertise in the St. Stephen's English Department. All of the teachers are willing to help you. Um, my one piece of advice would just be do those summer quote banks and get the reading done early because you'll think that you'll have time to go back later but senior spring end of your high school experience you're not going to want to and it's great to just have a quote bank and some analysis that you've already done to just help you along in those hard times in the spring. Uh, it was a great experience and I hope that you have fun and have a great summer. Hello, I'm Margo. My novel project topic is faith and spirituality. And I think the hardest part about the novel project is just getting started. The feeling of having to write two whole essays and read four whole books can feel like a lot. But I think once you just start and kind of realize that once, you, once you've read all of your books and once you've picked all of your quotes, it's really not that hard once you get into it. And a cool thing about the novel project is that you really have a lot of freedom to pick whichever topic you like. It can just be something where you can explore your interests and do what you've always wanted to do in terms of learn about something that you've always wanted to learn about. So I think that's really cool. And a piece of advice that I have for you guys is to really pick a topic you're interested in because I know I had a hard time like picking which topic to do and I kind of switched back and forth. And then another thing is like even if you pick something at the beginning and change your mind, like I changed my mind at the end of summer and it was fine. So don't like feel stressed about that. It's going to be fine. But yeah, pick something you're really, really interested in because it makes a huge difference when you have to do all of that writing and all of that reading. If it's something that you really want to learn about, it, it, like just enjoy it, you know, try to enjoy it. Yeah. My name's Charlie Press. My topic was novels with multiple perspectives. The biggest challenge I faced was comparing books that didn't have a ton of similarities. A cool part about the novel project is the multimedia aspect and getting to be creative. And one piece of advice I have is make sure you read your books early and spend a lot of time on those September and January proposals. Hey juniors, my name is Beck and my novel project topic was man's attempts to tame the tides. The biggest challenge for me was allotting enough time to read my books, especially during the school year. But my piece of advice is if you pick books that you've been interested in reading, you can connect them somehow and that can be your theme. Good luck and have fun, juniors. Hey, it's Edward here. So my topic is corruption on politics and the impact on society. So the biggest challenge for me was choosing my texts, whether it was what you guys are doing right now or um, this past like winter. But once you get that done, it's all good. Um, coolest part is definitely the digital media because you can pursue your interests, whether it's art, film, or something else. And my advice is once you're in the drafting phase, just set a timer, start writing, get ideas down on paper, and worry about the editing stuff later.
Um, so good luck, y'all. Hello, I'm Victoria, and I wrote my <laughs> novel project about food culture and different relationships with food and how it affects our society. And in my first chapter, I looked at the culture in Latin America around food, and in my second, um, in food insecurity, in the first, Latin America and food insecurity, and the second, it was eating disorders. Um, and one hard thing about the novel project, I think, is that you have to do a lot of the work on your own, and it's not like you're not sitting in a class talking about the same book with your friends and everyone, you're not talking about the same book. A lot of the times you're talking about a book that maybe your teacher hasn't read or a movie your teacher hasn't seen, and you have to connect all these texts by yourself. And I mean, we did it more by ourselves because we were at home. You guys, hopefully you're not at home, but that's a hard thing. But it's also the coolest thing, I think, because you are just putting your skills that we've been learning like practicing close reading for so long you're putting them to the test finally you're finally able to do it on your own and read read these books unless they're books that your teachers read but like mine weren't and and you're just kind of on your own and then your teachers see the final product they're helping you through it but it's cool to be able to use what we've learned by yourself and just and then my piece of advice I would say is pick something that you really like pick a topic like I love cooking and food and and it's food culture I'm literally gonna study that in college <laughs> um, but pick something that you like because you're gonna spend a lot of time with it so think about it like put thought into it okay <laughs> that's it hey guys my name is Valerie Montes uh, my topic for the novel project was searching for identity in Hispanic literature um, one thing that I found really, really cool about this project was the fact that I could make it completely my own. For example, uh, my media was, um, for my media I did uh, a, a short film where I went around and interviewed um, current teachers, current students, and even alums um, asking about what it's like to be identified, uh, to identify as a um, Mexican American or a Latin American student. And then my other media part of it was I analyzed a painting. Um, it was more of like a mural graffiti, so that was pretty cool. Although one of the more challenging aspects of the novel project was the writing itself. Um, so this kind of segues into my piece of advice, which is Follow your deadlines, stick to your deadlines. Um, those help in the long run. You don't want to wait until the very last minute to do it just because it's so much writing and so much work to do. So yeah, um, thanks.